Greetings fellow collectors, this is Orange Hedgehog 2012 and today I'm going to be doing a plush review on the new Sonic Boom Sonic the Hedgehog talking plush from Tomy. If you've seen from one of my previous videos, I've done a review on these small 8 inch guys of Sonic and Tails um, if you want to check that out and see what them guys are all about but in the meantime and today I'm going to be doing a review on this guy here. Um, he arrived today in the mail and I must say I am really chuffed. Um, Tomy has done an excellent job and he's actually a little bit smaller than what I previously um, thought he would be so yeah but you know, still, he looks really cool. Absolutely love the packaging, uh, the look of the plush. I'll go into more detail, obviously, about height and proportions and just give you guys an insight. And um, if you haven't already got this plush, and particularly if you're a UK resident, like myself, then if you want this guy, you know, in Supersonic Quick Time, then I do definitely recommend getting him on eBay or Amazon.com. But do be prepared to pay quite a bit, um, probably way more, double the, the retail price of these guys. So, yeah, I'll go into more detail about that and, um, yeah, give you my thoughts on this really cool, awesome guy. So, let's get started. So as I mentioned before, he's made by the renowned toy manufacturer Tomy. Um, he's one of the new line of plushies. Um, the ones they've released so far is Sonic and Tails in this sort of beanie, um, sort of plush form of Sonic and Tails. And recently they've released this, um, this talking plush here, which I mentioned before in one of my previous videos on them guys. Uh, really looking forward to the deluxe. I'm not sure this is, this might be actually the deluxe um, guy here. But um, hopefully Tomy are releasing a, a larger sort of 15, 16 inch version of this guy with a, um, a chili dog, which uh, sounds really cool. So I can't wait for that to come out. We'll probably pay, uh, pay over the odds for this guy. But um, considering that Tomy won't be releasing any merch from the Sonic Boom series in the UK or Europe, well, especially in the UK, um, there have been a lot of rumours going around and there's been different answers from Tomy and Toys R Us or whatnot, um, or Sega. Apparently these aren't coming out until like May 2015, which I think is a bit strange considering we're not entirely sure yet on when the actual uh, TV series is going to be aired in the UK, but apparently there have been rumours going around, I've been told it's like November, and then with new toy lines in January, and others have been told it's like May 2015, so a lot of speculation, but um, unfortunately we won't know until obviously somebody uh, gets wind of these guys and starts posting pictures and whatnot, but um, I'm happy pretty much to to pay a bit extra, probably double actually, on these guys, but um, I do definitely think they're worth it. Um, the little plush guys, yeah, they were expensive, but um, I'm a huge Sonic fan and, uh, you know, really wanted to get my hands on these guys. So if you don't mind paying that bit extra and whatnot, then yeah, it's totally up to you. But I thought I'd give you uh, guys um, my thoughts on this guy and by the looks of him, he looks awesome. Um, and as you can see, he is the talking plush. Sonic talking plush and he's got it in I believe in French um he says five phrases in English and also in French which is you know very fitting considering that the actual animation was made in France so the French are going to get obviously um first dibs of um you know merchandise I reckon and probably like the TV series and whatnot but um yeah uh, on first glance he is actually a bit smaller than what I originally thought I mean looking on videos and stuff on YouTube um yeah apart from looking really cool um, as you can see, he's a talking plush, so he does have like a voice box around at the back. And obviously this is a strip that you just pull out. But apart from that, the packaging looks really cool. As you can see, it's got the, um, the Tomy logo for ages 3 and up. Try me, press Billy, and also in French. So, let's give that a go. Probably, yeah, I'll probably have to switch him on at the back. He's, um, his voice box is probably switched off at the moment. At the bottom, you've got another bit here. And it says, uh, check out the Sonic Boom video games and TV series. And also got it in, um, in French, I assume. As you can see, I say five phrases. I don't know, I don't really know much French, to be honest. Which is ironic. But obviously, I'll get this guy out of his box and um, show you. You've got loads of different languages. Now, I use this um, term quite a lot when I'm searching on eBay, especially uh, sort of like for eBay Europe. Now, I'm not entirely sure. I think it's pronounced Pelucci, Pelucci or something, which is basically pu uh, plush in French or German or something. At the bottom, you've got, I think that's German. You've got it in all different European languages. Same again, probably like Italian, French, German. Same again, and basically, I assume what it says is um, plush toy maybe, and um, phrases, there's five phrases. At the back, I think it's really cool. You've got the very nice sort of CGI uh, gang there. Really cool. I hope the camera will focus on that. Nope, doesn't want to seem to focus. I'll move back a bit. And you've got the Sonic Boom logo, and you've got this kid. And this looks actually like the... Um, this must be like a prototype, or if not, it must be the new, the the next one coming out, this sort of 15 inch one, uh, that comes with True Dog, because it looks nothing like the actual plush itself. Maybe because as well you've got this, um, this wristwatch thingy going on. And apparently, uh, this is what he says. Time to take out the trash. And then obviously got it in French, too slow, huh? You forget who you're talking to. And sh it's a dramatic moment, chat. I don't know what that is. Anywho, at the bottom you've got the website, sonthehedgehog.com. And then you've got it in different languages, French, Espanol, um, yeah, pretty much that. And at the side, 
good. You've got that in different languages. So yeah, this looks really cool. So what I'm going to do, guys, is get this guy out of his box and then do a review. Okay, so this is the plush. And I've measured him and he measures around about 11 inches tall. Just to give you a quick idea of the size of him. Um, he measures around about, there we go, 11 inches tall. So just like an inch under from what I originally thought. Um, Tammy done an excellent job on the overall uh, body and the proportions and stuff. It's really good, as you can see. Really nice job that Tammy have done. So starting from the top of his head, you can see the nice stitch work they've done to his mouth. His muzzle area is really nicely constructed. You can see the stitch work to his eyes is really nice, really clean. And it's made from a combination of this really nice sort of soft plush material for his body, his stomach, his muzzle. The only synthetic um, parts obviously the insections to his ears. And also for his shoes and socks and also his sports tape. But yeah, really cool, really nice plush. And as you can see it's got a really nice um, news construction. Really nice. There's no stuffing in that, it's just obviously the actual black synthetic uh, material there. That's really cool. And his ears, I love his ears, they're really nice, cute, um, really nice design, very nicely shaped. The white sections that you can see all around here is made from, as I mentioned, the white sort of synthetic material. You can see the seam line where he's obviously been put together. Um, his stomach area, and especially here where his scarf is, it's nice. It's, um, it's not the best, I, I, will, I will admit, it's, um, I don't think the camera will focus. But it's made from like, um, almost like silky sort of material, like silk ribbon, but obviously feels a lot rougher. And they've done it all the way round and tied it at the back of his neck there. And as you can see, it's like, I think it's like polyester or something, so sort of like a synthetic uh, material. Um, but nice uh, design to his stomach, very nicely proportioned. And his arms, as you can see his blue arms, and the sports tape, which I'm still not a great big fan of, to be honest. Um, yeah, as you can see... He's done um, his arms there, the stitch work, done in sort of like a dash sort of, um, almost like effect there. And I don't know if the camera's going to get too focused. It takes a while sometimes for it to uh, recognise, but you can see it's sort of like a kind of black sort of thready material they've used. And they've actually stitched the actual um, cuffs, you can just about see there. Same again for the other side of his arm. Really nice design there. And as for his touch tag, as you can see, I've switched his voice box off because his stomach is really sensitive, as you can hear. Really nice sort of button uh, mechanism thing there. As you can see, his touch tag, the Sonic Boom logo. You've got all the materials, polyester fibre. And what's different compared to the other guy, you've got like a stamped sort of mark there. Uh, this is surface washable, as you can see. Um, at the back, you've got obviously just like disposing of the, um, the battery, all different languages. And at the back, you've got all the materials again, made in China. Very nice, uh, one's got a bit of that plastic, I don't know where that's come from, probably from the factory. Yeah, he did have quite a lot of like plastic hooks all around his body, because obviously um, he's been very well put into place. Sort of plastic um, hook things that you get from the sort of like um, paper tags and stuff. So yeah, really nice design to his... Um, his legs, a nice sort of even length, not too short, but then again not too long. Um, same again, the sports tape design, I'm not a big fan of, to be honest. Um, unfortunately, when I took one of my couple of plastic hooks off, um, unfortunately my one did incur a hole. And it's quite noticeable as well, which is a bit of a bummer, but um, oh well. As they say, really nice uh, design to his shoes. It's made from like a synthetic material. But really nice stitch work, what they've done there for the yellow part. Really nice. The sole of his shoe, same again, it's made from like polyester sort of material synthetic and it's the same again my one same again with the bean the beanie uh, small guys mine is folded and as you can see it has frayed a bit so yeah i'm not really a big fan of this um so-called sports type design but it's something different something interesting mine's a bit sort of folded it's the same again they've done a really cool design mine i'll probably sort that out later but you can see the actual um design to his shoes the same again the soles of his shoes as you can see the same things happened to the other side that's quite an obvious hole. As you can see, on the left side, you can actually see the plastic hook thing has gone through. And that's really quite noticeable. Ugh, that's so annoying. Uh, the right side is not too bad. Uh, as you can see, it might come up on cameras like really big, but it is quite obvious. So that's a really bit of a bummer. Moving to the back of him, his quills, the design on the plushies, they haven't done the actual design to his character in Sonic Boom, as you can see there. Because obviously it would obviously cost more to make, so they've done the same. Uh, designs all the other plushies. His quills are quite nice. They're nice, sort of short, stubby. Quite cute, actually. I really like them. At the back, you've got his back quills and also the Velcro, which um, houses his voice box. 
the actual voice box itself is not too bad and this is going to be really awkward with one hand. There we go. Just to give you an idea of what the actual what the voice box looks like. You've got the on off switch. I can try and get in the right light. There we go. With the screws and you can just about see there what batteries it takes. It takes three of them. 1.5 volt uh, batteries. Sort of like watch batteries really. And at the bottom you've got what looks like an emoticon. And that's where you can actually change the language from English to French. And you've got the switch for on and off. As you can see there. It's quite small and it's quite nicely compacted in there. Uh, the back of his legs. And that is quite a big hole, I think, obviously, because I haven't got the it sort of, you know, velcro in place. Um, you've got the back of his legs and the back of his shoes, which is sort of like a semi-transparent uh, material they've used for his sports tape. But really nice, though. Tamer's done an excellent job. I would probably give this plush a good 9 out of 10. Minus one point for the sports tape, which I'm not a big fan of, to be honest. But um, just to give you an idea of the size of this guy, his shoes, he's really cute. I really love him. And he'll go nicely in my Sonic Boom collection. As you can see the button action there. So I'll probably show you guys in a moment um, again the actual battery compartment and what he sounds like. Okay, so I've just found out that his voice box was switched on. I probably wasn't pressing him in the right place. But this is the inside of his voice box. As you can see, there's the on and off switch. If I can just get it in the right light, you can probably see. And the black button is where you can change him over. So if you want him to speak French, you can do. You've got the screws. You might be able to, by the looks of it, you can actually replace the batteries. As you can see, they probably take the same batteries you find in watches nowadays. But the actual uh, voice box is like plastic. And it's not too too big either. It's sort of like, as you can probably just about hear. So yeah, he was switched on in the first place, as you can see. There we go. As you can see, you've got a little, almost like a motorcon, so sort of speaking. So let's give him a whirl. Let's see camera back into focus. Dramatic moment. <laughs> Time to take in the trash. Take in the trash, or is that supposed to be out of the trash? Let's have a look. Oh yeah, time to take. Did you say in or out the trash? Too slow. <laughs> you forgot who you're talking to. It's actually quite nice. The volume is quite nice and loud. You can't lose me, Egghead. Wow. <laughs> I could really go for a chili dog. It's a dramatic moment. Time to take in the trash. Oh yeah, he does. So that was really cool. So is it in English? And then I suppose if you... <laughs> if you press the black button, he speaks French. Oh, that's great. That's fantastic. So I'll put him back to his English. No. I can really go for a chili dog. Yep, so it's pretty straightforward and really easy. It's really cool that um, Tommy have allowed the, um, the use to actually replace the batteries so when they run out. So yeah, really cool. Love this plush and I cannot wait for the other guys to come out. Um, for some reason on Toy Wiz's website, they originally had like uh, Amy and Knuckles, but now they're not on their website. So I don't know what's happening with them guys. It's a dramatic Oops. moment. <laughs> As you can see, it's really sensitive. If you're holding him, he will go off. But um, yeah, that's, uh, I that's pretty much it there. What I've got to, to say about this guy. 10 inch uh, sonic boom sonic plush talking plush that is but yeah really do recommend him um i did pay quite a lot for him um because i had him imported from the us and because a lot of sellers are taking advantage of this moment with merchandise because they know it's not going to be available in the uk for quite a while they're charging sort of you know double triple the price which is a bummer but at the same time it's kind of like you know if you really want it then obviously you are prepared to pay whatever really so long as it's not like you know astronomical um i paid just under 30 dollars for mine um 
so yeah it was quite steep so i think he's definitely worth it and to have him sort of like months in advance is um really cool so yeah definitely do recommend him um if you've seen this review before on other um plushes these guys in the trash as you can see oh dear yeah give me your thoughts guys what you think of this plush and um yeah if you've stumbled across my video thanks a lot for watching this has been my review on the new sonic boom sonic the hedgehog talking plush uh, around about 10 inches tall so yeah thanks a lot guys for watching and hopefully my next review will be on some more sonic boom merchandise so in the meantime please feel free to check out my channel for more reviews and i'll see you again soon guys for another review by orange hedgehog 2012 so sonic do you have anything to say too slow <laughs> you forgot who you're talking to so very quickly guys um it wasn't until actually i was looking back at the video i realized that um sonic actually speaks more than two languages um it wasn't until i was looking at the actual packaging again um he says five phrases but in three different languages so you've got english french and spanish so, what I'll do, I'll probably uh, go through all the different languages again. So the first lot you have got English. Hey, it's a dramatic moment. Time to take in the trash. Too slow? <laughs> you forgot who you're talking to. I can really go for a chili dog. Okay, that's the English, and then you have got the French, I believe. <laughs> And the last one you've got is Spanish. Oh,